Hello, we took delivery yesterday of two U1Hs and two U3Hs. Um, so just want to examine them to see what sort of things we, we have to do to improve them. They are already reconditioned Yamahas. Now the H series is by far and away the biggest series of Yamahas going from 1970 to 1980 roughly and uh, around about two million of them made which far in excess of any other ones that they made. And this, this one is the U3H, we'll start with this. And we've done, do a, I've done a worksheet for all of them just to see what sort of work needs to be done to improve them. So this one's made in 1977, about 200,000 uh, Yamahas are made in 1977. And uh, first of all, I had to regulate the pedal, it wasn't coming off far enough. Now these are reconditioned Yamahas, hardly used either, you can tell by looking at the felts. I'm not going to open up all of these, but just to make some comments that I think are relevant to them. Now you see the dampers are lifting off far enough, um, they should really clear the strings and they're clearing and just slightly more, so that gives a little bit of a uh, chance for them to wear over the next 10 years or so. So I've just listened to the piano and uh, this is particularly rich, full tone. They're always uh, exceptional pianos, U3Hs. So I've also marked on here, the most important thing I think, which is reducing the down weight. It's really a bit high, that's 56 to 60 grams. Should be 52 in the base, 50 in the center, 48 in the top treble. Plus or minus two grams would be acceptable. So on this middle C, for instance, um, the, this is 56 grams, just about going down with some encouragement taking the initial inertia off by hitting underneath the keyboard. You must put the right, your foot on the right hand pedal for this while I take the dampers off. As I've mentioned this many times before, so I won't go on too long. If we compare that with this Foric that we just sold, same weight, 56 grams, and it, with the foot on the pedal, it's going down very easily indeed. So this Foric is going down with middle C with 50 grams, which is exactly what it should do. Um, maybe 51 grams, no it is going down, so 50 grams. The sharp here needs 51 grams, so a slight variation, so plus or minus one or two grams. Foric normally managed to get it to plus or minus one gram. Um, the client who bought this piano, a nine-year-old girl who's taking grade eight, and said it was like her teacher's grand piano. She fell in love with this one over all the other pianos. So it's something that's to do with to do with the touch weight on the Foric is so accurate and that's so important for musicians. So this other U3H come uh, made in 1974, again about 200,000 pianos made in that year. Um, that's the price we've put it at. Now we do a lot of extra work on the piano just to perfect them. So um, the case works perfect by the way, so it's just a matter of getting the touch perfect. So again it's average 56 to 50 grams. So the middle C here is 56, maybe 55 grams. And uh, there's a variety, so let's try the C above that. That's also similar. and. Uh, so anyway, we'll be weighting all of these accurately so they're within plus or minus two grams of where they should be. Four, 52 in the base, 50 in the center, and 48 in the top treble. This U1H, 1976, 239,000 pianos made by Yamaha in that year. Uh, a lot of pianos, isn't it? Compared to West German firms making 800 or so, or that kind of figure, and nowadays a lot less but obviously they're making it very fastidiously in Yamaha's mass production, which has some advantages. Um, so let's have a look at uh, this one, the reduced touch weight to, it's currently 48.56. So this one, I think I actually wrote them on there. Um, no, I didn't, but I'll just have a look now. So that's 56, bit less than 56, 54 or so. And this C48, so too much variety really, so we bring them down to within plus or minus two grams of where they should be. And this other U1H, that's extremely high, 60 grams, that's far too high. It generally rusts across the whole, key, whole of the keyboard. So here we are, um, 56 grams, and it's still hardly going down there, and right across the whole keyboard it's 56 grams, so not much variety. I think it was one here that was a bit less. Um, well, not much less. So that really needs doing. So this is the U3H. Now the first one we looked at, which I think was 1977, if I remember rightly. It really, the age, it, anything from 1970 to 1980, U3H is really one of the very best 
and the U1H as well. Easily the longest series of Yamahas. And where we, where we play it, the tone is very even and rich. And I, was, I was trying to show that the most important thing here is the touch is uh, not as even as a musician would, would like it to be. We'll just compare that with the Forec. So this is the Forec I showed earlier on, Forec 122. Um, this is our preferred make of new pianos. Uh, if you've seen other videos, you'll know that. Um, the touch is very, very even. Um, and the client, actually this one is sold, but we have one, one in stock and we have a replacement for this one. She also bought Cat's Clips, which are very useful for holding big books, particularly hymn books and such like. Um, but you can actually put book holders on these. It's difficult on the Yamahas because they're made of plastic, but these you can put book holders on. Um, so I recommend this. If you've got young children, it's best to put book holders on because they might get, lose these because you can slide them off. Um, but obviously if they slide, that's very useful too. Um, the other thing which they bought is a duet stool, which I'm sitting on, and uh, all the family play the piano. So that's obviously very nice to have a duet stool. They do cost a bit more, but uh, it encourages social playing, as it were. And it's a beautiful tone, this piano. Let's go back to the Yamaha to finish off with. The Yamaha, it's a question of difference of tone really. It's very hard for musicians to decide sometimes as to which one they want. Certainly this one, the touch is not nearly as even. But uh, obviously we'll work on that and even it up to get it just as good as the new piano, I believe. If you're interested in any of these pianos, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com with any questions and uh, we'll try and help you. Thank you very much for listening.